Welcome to the Bullhorn. Everyone's still worried about the debt ceiling. Is the U.S. going to get downgraded? But you know what? Who cares? We're still buying donuts and we're still buying Kindles. Howard Lindzen here to talk to me about Amazon and the Duncan IPO. Let's go, let's go with Amazon first. Another phenomenal quarter, even though profit's down a bit, revenue surge. They obviously, we know by now, they invest in the future. Don't doubt Amazon. Is that the, your, your take on it? Yeah, I mean, been long, uh, not concerned. When we talk about Zynga and Facebook and Twitter, and we talk about all the activity that they're trying to monetize, well, Amazon is monetizing, you know, someone liking someone, someone uh, building a farm. Amazon, those are all activities that lead to more servers, more cloud use, and Amazon is the benefactor, okay? Maybe Zynga and Twitter one day and Facebook will benefit from friends of friends of friends, but Amazon is ringing the cash register, not a book company, I've been saying it forever, it's a storage and cloud, an infrastructure play, the books are gravy, uh, you know, this company is getting stronger. Do your cloud dance. You know you want to. You know you want to. <laughs> nice. How important oh, by the way, is look at, look that at. notion, this though, is for how... Amazon? Yep, there we go. You've got the Kindle. Look at this. I can... <laughs> I can call Jeff Bezos tomorrow and get this fixed. See, that's the difference. I have total nice. confidence in this. How important is the fact that Amazon is moving more into the world of tablets with the Kindle, obviously cloud as well? I mean, there's been so much of a knock on retail as this low margin business, but it's not really fair to say that about Amazon anymore, correct? Well, here's where I think they could go with this. You know, social shopping. Jeff Bezos is an investor in Twitter, by the way. And, uh, you know, other than Google, I see Amazon as a sneaky buyer of a Twitter, for example. And you know what? They could turn their tablet just into a shopping cart, basically, where you turn it on, have access to uh, knives, uh, screws, uh, gardening tools, and books, and turn their tablet into the one-click shopping tool. So by the time you get home, you got stuff waiting for you. So a lot of stuff they could do with their tablet that nobody's really focused on. And... Uh, it makes sense for them to be in the tablet business. To wrap up, you know, we talked in the intro, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Brands, the parent of Dunkin' Donuts. Nice IPO, uh, stock popped over 30% at the open. Uh, you wouldn't be long that, or, or is that something you steer clear of? Here's where I'm long Dunkin'. Oh, no. Oh, so, my. Uh, I, <laughs> I, wow. I'm not long the donut stock. I'm going to do my, my dance is. of revulsion now. My, my body is a spokesman for the product, uh, but I don't own any shares. Not long DNKN in his portfolio, perhaps in the waistline. I'm not going to go any further than that. To wrap up, though, I, I personally think we need a coffee ETF. I mean, between Dunkin, Starbucks, you obviously got Green Mountain. Let's go ticker B E A N. Let's let's go get it, let's go get it done. I like that idea, dude. You are onto something with that. Uh, that's smart.